Hello, welcome back to Cinema Burger 13 Nights of Halloween. We're getting down to the final few movies here, and we continue with Evil Eye. Now, this is the last of the four Bloomhouse movies that were released through Amazon, and this one definitely was pretty good as well, just like Black Box. Now, it stars Sarita Chudhari as Usha, Bernard White as as her husband Krishnan and Sunita Mani as their daughter Pallavi. Now it's about an Indian family. The parents live in India and the daughter lives in New Orleans. She's going to school. She's trying to write a book. Now the mother wants her to find a husband as per Indian culture and the daughter is annoyed because the mother keeps like pressing in that aspect of her life. Now what's interesting is the mother, Usha, was victim of a traumatizing event when she was a lot younger. An ex-boyfriend tried to kill her or was very persistent at, and stalked her for a long time and this has made the mother want the best man for her daughter and to be the safest that she can. Now Pallavi finally agrees to go on a date that her mother set up and while she's waiting she meets this other man named Sandeep. Now he starts talking to Pallavi and they start to like hit it off and she is starts to like date him. Now since the mother Usha has keeps having these visions of this past event. She has this necklace called the Evil Eye. It's supposed to ward off evil spirits or to protect her. And the daughter, Pallavi, has an, a bracelet with the same symbol on it. Now, throughout the movie, Usha is a little worried that Pallavi and Sandeep are moving too fast. Now, he seems nice. He does have a lot of money. Now, Usha does some background information on Sandeep, and they were born the same month, and Sandeep was born like nine weeks or nine months after the ex-boyfriend was killed. Now, Sarita Chudhari's performance is amazing. She really shows the person living with trauma and dealing with that. Now, the mother wants Sandeep and Pallavi to slow down a bit because she's worried that Sandeep has maybe a sinister plan. Now, he seems nice and he's eager to meet the parents. They seem to be moving a little quickly. Now, at the beginning, Sandeep hasn't done anything to Pallavi that would make the mother suspicious or make like the audience suspicious so to say but the mother is just extra cautious because of what happened to her. Now about halfway into the movie she tells Pallavi what happened when she was younger since she had never told Pallavi. Now there's typical plot point of whenever the mother warns Pallavi of what's going on she automatically doesn't believe her, and that once she revealed the traumatic event, Pallavi thinks the mother needs help, and no one believes her. The father, while he's not, like, mean or anything, he he's like, oh, let the girl just date or do what she wants. If the boy loves her, then what's wrong? Now... Sandeep, after a month of dating Pallavi, gets her really expensive blue earrings, which Pallavi doesn't accept because it's too big of a um, gift. And Sandeep is a little upset, but he has that like that quiet, like plotting, like thought. Like he doesn't say anything, but you can tell he's like really pissed off, and he could like snap at any moment, but he doesn't. 
now Sandy gets an apartment for her and Pallavi, so now they're living together, and Sandeep is supporting Pallavi so she can write her book, so now she's not working right now either. And it seems like Sandeep is starting to control her life. And the mother is worried about this as well, which I guess she should be. Now, when the mother reveals the story about the trauma, she also says that she believes that since she technically killed the ex-boyfriend in self-defense, but it was never brought up to the police, so she technically got away with murder. So she thinks Sandeep is technically the ex-boyfriend of the mother reincarnated, which is an interesting idea. Now, even without this plot of reincarnation, the movie is just a great performance, especially from the mother and the father. Sunita Mani is, I mean, performance is decent, but once again, she plays the character who doesn't realize something is wrong until it's too late, and that's the cliche that annoys me in this movie. It's one of the only things, though, because like I said, Usha's performance is just incredible. She really shows someone with trauma. And anytime she's on screen, I, or the audience, is just mesmerized. Now, worrying that Sandeep is really the ex-boyfriend, or believing it, the mother actually comes to America to confront Sandeep. Now, at one point, Sandeep talks on the phone to the mother and says, Everything I do is for Pallavi's own good, and that's something the ex-boyfriend said to Usha when they were younger, so that's where she first starts to think that Sandeep is really the ex-boyfriend. And it's like, even though, yes, Sandeep is possibly the ex-boyfriend reincarnated, it's like Sandeep takes a turn like that. He goes from, like, nice and generous to, like, evil and plotting and calculating so it does take like a quick turn like that. Now, Usha keeps convincing Pallavi to not marry Sandeep because she believes it's the ex-boyfriend. And it makes Pallavi upset. They stop talking for a little bit, her and the mother. But Sandeep says that he won't marry without the parents' blessing. But in reality, he says he'll hurt Pallavi unless the mother gives him the blessing. Devious. So Usha comes to America to confront this, and she arrives at their house. Now she, after everything she's been through, trying to convince Pallavi, talking with Sandeep, ig ignoring people telling her she's crazy and that it's all in her head, she's ready to fight for her daughter and win her daughter back. Now, to get Pallavi to believe that Sandeep is really the ex-boyfriend, because she's told this to Pallavi, but she obviously doesn't believe the mother, that she wears the blue earrings that the ex-boyfriend gave to Usha when she was younger, because she gave the exact same pair to Pallavi. Now, this makes Sandeep start to talk like the ex-boyfriend, and... This was the whole plan, was to have marry Pallavi or get closer to the mother through Pallavi. So, this is the point where Sandeep's intentions are truly revealed to Pallavi and she believes the mother. Now they fight back. And it's, it's a pretty, like, satisfying fight. It's like no one knows how to fight, but it's just like... Saw a woman just fighting off an attacker, and it feels very satisfying. Now, they exchange words, Sandeep and Usha. Now, Sandeep also reveals that when he first met Pallavi, that's when he remembered that he was the ex-boyfriend. So, it's kind of like this happened by accident, because of 
karma or something. It's not like the ex-boyfriend did some ritual to survive, like in Chucky or something. It's like it just kind of happened by accident. Now, this also raises a little bit of questions at the end, because Pallavi is hurt, Usha stabs Sandeep and kills him, and the, the police are called, and both Pallavi and Usha are fine. Now, back in the house, when Usha is talking to Sandeep saying, oh, I was wrong, that you should marry Sandeep, I give you the blessing. Pallavi, this is where she first starts to notice something is off because the mother would never say that. Sarita Chowd Hurry's performance is amazing. She is the best person in this movie by far. And I want to see more of her films. Now also, Usha throws cayenne pepper in Sandeep's face to stop him because they were cooking beforehand. So that was a clever way to immobilize somebody. So back to the hospital, they're both okay. Pallavi apologizes to Usha for not believing her. And when they keep talking about, like, this is a good point, Usha says, oh, because Pallavi asks, oh, will he be back? And Usha says, oh, men like him will always be back. And as they exit the hospital room and everything seems okay, you hear in the hallway, code blue, and you hear a baby being born. And then they cut to a baby in an incubator and the eyes open and devious music plays. Now, a couple of things run through my head in the scene. One, it's pretty ominous by the end, but also, one, is it the ex-boyfriend reincarnated again? Two, is it just a child who could one day grow up to be a crazy sexual predator. We don't know. I was actually hoping the Terminator music would play as soon as the uh, the baby's eyes open, like do 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 do. That would be funny. But um, and the movie ends like that. Now, overall, Evil Eye is a great movie about the pain of dealing with past trauma and about trying to protect your loved ones. The element of like, reincarnation and the ex-boyfriend being Sandeep in reality is a nice twist. It doesn't overshadow the movie. It could have even not been a plot point in the movie and it really wouldn't have changed anything. But it's not like in Nocturne where they set up something big and supernatural and doesn't pay off. Here they talk about like karma and something a little bit. And while yes, it was a supernatural element, it could also just be someone dealing with trauma and being afraid. Or that, like the mom says, there will always be men like this. So I like that plot point. Sunita Mani's performance was fine, but like I said, she's the character who doesn't believe the mother until the very end, so she kind of does, like, kind of dumb character choices, but that's not really her fault, that's just part of the character. Bernard White, who plays the father, is always good if you haven't seen many Bollywood movies or foreign movies. He was in The Matrix Revolutions. He was the program in the train station that was trying to get back to The Matrix. And it, he was at bay with the train man. He had the daughter and the wife that Neo was trying to help. Surita Chudhari has appeared in The Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 1 and 2, Homeland, Blind Spot, the show The Path on Hulu, and Jessica Jones Season 3 on Netflix. Now, she is the best actress by far. See this movie for her performance alone. And Sunita Mani, who played Pallavi, has appeared on the Netflix show Glow and Mr. Robot. And she was decent. I'd give this movie a... I'm gonna say 4 out of 5 burgers because the, the movie is very interesting. It keeps... It kept me very 
focused on the plot. I was like just waiting to what was going to happen next. I do have to take away points for it because of Pallavi's character because she doesn't believe the main character till it's too late and that Sandeep's performance and actions kind of just like snap like that to becoming the ex-boyfriend so it's it's kind of she does like one or two little things that appears to be suspicious and then it's like full turn like crazy but other than that it's a decent movie I applaud Bloomhouse for putting out another decent movie out of the four recent ones Bloomhouse has got a 50 50 here so it's not terrible could be a little better but I was very satisfied with Evil Eye and I highly suggest it. Alright I'm Scott Berger and we'll see you next time.